the 2025 Mercedes AMG GT 63 Pro. This Pro model sits above the regular GT 63 and of course the GT 55. And for these Pro models, they still utilize the 4 liter twin turbocharged AMG V8 engine, but now the power is increased to 603 horsepower and 627 pounds feet of torque. We also have unique body components to optimize aerodynamics to further reduce aerodynamic lift. And there's also additional air inlets and active cooling elements for improved cooling because Mercedes claims that if you're someone who not only wants to drive this vehicle on the street, but you also want to take it out to a track, the Pro model is supposed to be your ideal choice. And it's great that they're focusing in on better cooling because they've added additional radiators in the wheel arches and electric water pumps in the top mounted radiators to ensure stability under intense use. But if this were your car, would you consider tracking this or would you look elsewhere to perhaps a more affordable option like even the new Z06 Corvette, which is a naturally aspirated engine with a ton of cooling on it as well. Mercedes has not unveiled the official pricing yet, but we can assume this is going to cost like 220, 230, something along those lines because even a regular GT63 starts at around 177 grand with destination and loaded up that GT63 ends up being about 200 grand. So I can see this pro costing like 225, 230. And just so you know, a GT55 costs about 136 grand once again with destination and that's for the 2024 pricing anyway back to this pro model we do have your 26 more horsepower than the regular gt63 and 37 more pounds feet of torque and that's how you get 603 horses 627 pounds feet of torque mercedes claims that the pro can go from 0 to 124 miles an hour in 10.9 seconds that's half a second quicker than a regular gt63 and the top speed of this Pro is 197 miles an hour. And Mercedes keeps talking about the various cooling attributes for the Pro model, which I've already discussed. And as always, I'm going to have the full press release for you to check out on the screen. But something else they've noted is a new geometry of air vanes on the underbody and revised brake cover plates, which optimize airflow to the brakes, which increases the durability and prevents excessive brake temperatures. The aerodynamic lift on the front axle is reduced by over 66 pounds, and this is gonna provide you with even greater handling stability. And this Pro model also features additional air deflectors on the underbody, similar to the ones used in the AMG1 supercar, or hypercar, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but these fins, which are located at the height of the front and rear axles, accelerate the airflow on the underbody and all aerodynamic measures are coordinated and interact with the fixed rear wing concept, which increases downforce on the rear axle by approximately 33 pounds. You're gonna get the AMG carbon ceramic high performance brakes as standard equipment with this Pro. And this features six piston fixed calipers in the front paired with 16.5 inch brake discs. And you also get a single piston floating caliper at the rear. These carbon ceramic brakes are also going to reduce unsprung mass. And we also have lightweight AMG Performance 21 inch forged split spoke wheels. These wheels are fitted standard with the Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tires. That's the latest version of the Performance summer tire from Michelin. And these are gonna be 295 wide in the front and 305s in the back. You can also get Cup 2 R tires at no additional cost to you. And that's great that they're offering the true R compound tire because that's what most people want if they're truly going to track these vehicles instead of the regular generic Cup 2, which isn't ideal for the street and it's not even a true racing tire either. So I'm glad they're offering the true R here for those who want it. Anyway, you are going to get as standard the AMG exterior carbon fiber package with the Pro. So you get the carbon front splitter, the side sill, the rear diffuser, the rear wing, it's all gonna be made from carbon fiber. And you get the AMG Performance seats, along with the 
AMG Performance steering wheel in Napa leather and microfiber, all as standard. And Mercedes has some specs laid out for you. The nine speed AMG speed shift transmission does zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds has a top speed of 197 miles an hour, as mentioned before. And that's everything you need to know regarding the 2025 GT63 Pro Formatic Plus. Let me know your thoughts regarding this latest sports car from Mercedes-Benz. I personally do like it. The only thing I can't stand with these new Benzes is that blasted infotainment screen that they have. It truly is a nuisance to use and to live with, but that's just my thoughts. Anyway, if you're interested in these performance AMG products, I will be sharing with you one resource for those of you who are serious about buying a performance car. It's a free leasing calculator provided to you by Auto Companion. This leasing calculator will show you the interest rate of a lease, the residual values, and the incentives that you can get in your local zip code. And I bring this up because occasionally Mercedes has some good incentivized lease programs for the SL AMG Roadsters. I get it, that's a totally different car and it's a cloth top convertible. But the reason why I bring it out is because there's usually more incentivized programs on the SL compared to the GT cars. Sadly, as of right now, October 2024, the deals are not that great. Your payments are going to run between $1,900 to $2,400 a month for a four-year lease, assuming you have perfect credit and you put no money down. And that's primarily because they have the interest rate set to 6.6% for the lease of both the SL55 and the SL63. I used a vehicle with $160,000 MSRP on an SL55 and a $200,000 MSRP on the SL63. And I assumed a 10% off discount, which is the bare minimum that you should try to get on these vehicles. So that's gonna be between 16 to $20,000 off the MSRP. That's great. But when you lease these vehicles, there's an additional ten to fifteen thousand dollar incentive that's going to stack on top of that dealer discount that you happen to negotiate and that's the main reason why i want to share this calculator with you so you can see those incentives because incentives always stack on top of the dealer discount so it's a great negotiation tool even though the programs aren't that great right now you never know when the programs can improve because leasing programs interest rates incentives all of these things they update every month and Auto Companions Calculator can also update every month. So it will always show you the latest numbers. So hopefully you appreciate this knowledge, this information, and these resources. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.